Hey guys, good morning. So me and Holly are just about to go food shopping, but I just wanted to show you my Kath Kidston backpack um, that I bought the other day in Vista Village. So it doesn't look too bad considering it's like a kid's one. And then, well you need your glasses. Should I put them in your bag for you? So Holly's got her little backpack on as well. Turn around Holly so you can sh show everybody your bunny in your bag. Turn around. Wow, look at Holly's bag. So we're going shopping to Aldi's now. Um, so we shall catch you later. Bye. Hey guys, so we've just finished our shop in Aldi's. Holly, say goodbye to the shop. She's probably looking at me going, no mum, you don't say goodbye to shops. So yeah. Um, about £35 for my weekly shop but I forgot to pick up crisps for Holly so that's one thing that I need to go out and get already and like I love Aldi's because it's great it's cheap and the stuff is good quality but like there's always stuff that you can't get hold of I find like herbs and spices and just things like that like you can't, you can't buy limes there you can only buy lemons and just stuff like that really which is a bit annoying so you have to venture out to Tesco if you want to get those things but there we are that's life so I'm gonna go home now I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna meal plan for Weight Watcher meals or Weight Watcher friendly meals for the rest of the week because I stepped on the scales this morning and I'm back up to 11 stone 5 which to be honest, I could get that off back down to 11 stone one maybe by next weigh day. So I've got a weigh day tomorrow, which I'm not gonna go to. I don't see the point in going to say you've gained four pounds. Like it's just gonna put me in a bad frame of mind. I know that that's happened. Um, so I'm gonna work really, really hard this week to get all that back off. Um, I do have social plans again for this weekend. I've got something on on Friday evening, then I'm working on Saturday day, and then I've got something on on Saturday evening also, but I'm just gonna have to be really, really strict with myself and go back to the boring me before I had Holly. Before I had Holly on Weight Watchers, I was on it. Like say if I'd gone on a weekend away with my family just now, I wouldn't have eaten like anything near to what I would have. I wouldn't have drunk any alcohol. I wouldn't have had any ice creams um, for the dinner. I would have just had that and then like scrimped and scrapes throughout the day to compensate for that. I would have gone running. I would have done sit-ups. Um, I would have done everything in my power to make sure that I still had a weight loss on way morning or way evening, whenever it is. But now that I have a child my views have changed so much I just think and especially now what with my mum and you know she was the healthiest person on this planet never smoked a cigarette in her whole entire life ate like a normal person and was a good size 8 to size 10 for the whole entire of her life um, did loads of walking and yet she still got cancer and she passed away at the age of 54 so it makes you think when you do have a family occasion or a special occasion or even on the weekends it makes you think and you want to just have what you want because at the end of the day guy guys life is way too short so that's how I feel but at the end of the day I still do look in the mirror and I don't want to be the size that I am now most people say well you're fine as you are thank you very much that's a really nice compliment I'm not happy in myself so if I'm not happy in myself how am I gonna be happy with someone else which all leads to me to believe that maybe this um, weight battle that I'm having at the moment is a contributing factor as to why I have now been single for nearly two years I don't know so I'm just going off on a little rant by here, so sorry about that. But yeah, so hopefully I can get some good meals planned for this week and I can be 
right back on track and they're actually enjoying my food again because I've slipped into the not planning my meals, just going with the flow and then I'm eating, I'm not satisfied so I'm eating more. Like this morning I had my shredded wheat, wasn't satisfied so we went and had some pineapple and yoghurt. Not the end of the world but who needs two breakfasts? You know I should have just been satisfied with the one. But at the end of the day guys, it gets dark end of story okay so we just got home and princess is sleeping so hopefully i can go and put her down um on the sofa or something while i can put the shopping away that would be handy um but yeah see you later hey guys so it is about quarter to one in the afternoon holly's just woken up from her nap um which is lovely. I think she napped for a good two hours. And I, what did I do? I had a cup of tea. Then, yeah, put the shopping away. Had a cup of tea. Then I sat down in my bed. I found myself a new YouTuber to watch, which is really exciting. I've only watched um, maybe three or four videos of hers now. And she's doing um, a project called Vloon which is basically where she uploads a video every day in the month of June, which if you think about it, is basically what I am doing um, just with vlogs. And I maybe have started like a few days after June has started. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep the daily vlogging up for. At the moment, I think it's going pretty well, but um, there are obviously gonna be days where I won't be able to do it. So it's gonna be like a bit, I don't know, all over the place, I suppose. And I do actually want to continue doing, you know, my normal sit down makeup videos, hauls, favourites. Um, I haven't, I've stopped doing empties, but like everybody seems to be doing empties now that I've stopped doing them, which is a bit annoying. Um, and just things like that. I'm thinking of like subscribing back up to like a monthly subscription box and things like that. So we'll see. I'm finding recently that this eye looks a bit like a lot smaller than this eye and it makes me look a bit weird. Is it because I'm looking at the screen and when I'm not looking at the screen? Can anyone see what I mean? <laughs> so this is all the right rubbing off because I've eaten but it looks a bit silly when it does rub off doesn't it? It's a pretty nice colour. What do you think, guys? I'll have to show you what that is later. But anyway, yeah, I'm just about to eat my most uninspiring lunch ever of um, a tin of chopped tomatoes on toast. So I need to, like, claw back. the. I had an extra point for breakfast this morning, so I need to, like, claw that back. So I'm just having quite a low pro smart pointed Weight Watchers friendly lunch. So I'll catch you all later. Bye. Hey guys, so I said I talked to you about my lipstick. It's one of the um, NYX liquid suede that, um, this is the one that I bought from IMAT when I went to London with the girls. And it, I have another one somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bought, um, this was the first one that I bought of it. Um, I think they're fantastic, apart from like when you have to go and reapply them. So they're great and they do last on your lips until you maybe eat like something a bit greasy. So, and then when I, fi I find that this one applies like really, really chalky um, and then it just starts flaking off. Um, I've just realized it, they've only got a sixth month life on them as well why does it say it there can you see that six months so that's put me off um i've just gone to reapply this and it's like really really smudgy so i've had to like try my best to go outside my lips again with like concealer just to tidy it all up again it does feel a bit like tacky still it doesn't it doesn't ever dry down fully matte and fully dry i mean if you like were to kiss someone um say i was to kiss holly then it would definitely leave a mark like a lipstick would which 
um, is not ideal. Um, I prefer, as a comparison, I prefer the Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvets. They dry down. Um, they still aren't 100% dry, but they like last a lot longer because I think like with red tones they tend to stain your lips anyway. Um, this new one that I bought by LA Splash which I have talked about in one of my previous vlogs that dries down so dry that it feels tight on your lips but then if that's the kind of like long lasting wear effect that you want then that's the type of product that's also good. And then there is another NYX product which I do like which is this one, it's one of the um, soft matte lip creams. When you put it on, you don't ever dream that it's gonna dry down completely. So like when you touch it, nothing comes off, but it really does, um, which was a nice surprise. And this is like one of the first nude products I ever owned and I got so many compliments on it, so I loved it. And then when I was in IMATS in London on the weekend, I picked up another one of these, but in the shade Transylvania, which is like a really, really deep purple, of which you will see in a haul that I am planning to upload tonight, but um, schedule for the weekend, probably. So stay tuned for that one. Make sure you are subscribed and turn your notifications on if you want to see my NYX haul from IMAX. And also there will be um, a, a, a haul that I did in London for all the stuff that I bought not from IMAX as such. So stay tuned for those. Um, so yeah, I don't really know why. I've just decided to give you like a mini product review, but it was basically because I wanted to talk to you about this. I really, really like the color. What do you think? But I hate how the product acts when you have to go and reapply it. Feels horrible. And then I also don't like the fact that now I know it's only got a six month shelf life. I mean, I'm sure I will probably keep it for a bit longer than that. It's not as disgusting as keeping a mascara for that long. Um, but yeah, usually things have like a 12 month on them. So this one, for instance, has got 18 months on it. So I'm not sure what the difference is. Why has this one only got six months? And then this one's only got, and then this one's got 18 months. It doesn't really make any sense. It's probably to do with the ingredients. Let's have a look what these are. These are 12 months, which is like, I would say that's about standard for a makeup item. I know people tend to keep them for a lot longer than that. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you my dinner. That's the roasted butternut squash and I've seasoned it. Peas, um, steak, grilled onions, not onions, tomatoes, grilled mushrooms, just one big mushroom cut in half and one tomato cut in half. This is the monkfish. It smells weird. I'm not sure if it's right. If I don't like it, I'm just gonna literally throw it in the bin. I've overcooked it anyway, but I think that freezing it might have damaged the process. I think monkfish is supposed to be like a delicacy. I've had it before and it was absolutely stunning and I don't remember it looking like this. So I might just like have one bite of that and if I don't like it, I'm just literally gonna chuck it in the bin. But that zero smart points, tomato zero smart points, that whole mushroom is zero smart points. This is eight smart points. That is one smart point because Holly's got the other one smart point. And then those two together would be one smart point. So we're talking about eight, nine, 10 smart points if I eat the monkfish, if not nine smart points. So healthy and lots and lots of food. Yum, yum, yum. Hey guys, so I never got to finish yesterday's vlog. I pretty much fell asleep on the sofa and then went straight to bed. Um, completely forgot about uploading a vlog and whatnot. So this is the end of yesterday's vlog. I'll see you all later. Bye.